how's it going scrub gamers welcome back to another video here at scrub games and today we have a never of our fusion world discussion videos and this for this one we're going to have a look at what yellow brings in set two to add on to the what we already had in set one and see what it kind of does to the color so like bring it up maybe not do much depends on what we see because we've done this for both red blue and green already so this is the last color going over and we already saw that like red gave quite a new good cards and might up the color quite a bit Blue also bought the color up quite a bit, and green added some nice new additions, and also give some more uh, support for Androids, the Android side of green, whereas the like same was always the most dominant side of it. So if you're interested in having a look at what was it say set two brings in for yellow, then feel free to continue and have a look. And also before we get into the video, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It keeps you updated with my videos as when they drop, and by clicking the notification bell, you can get alerts to when my videos do drop, so you can watch them there then, or at a later time that suits you. So now we got that one out of the way, let's go and have a look and see what yellow brings for set 2. So start off with our new yellow leader. Our new yellow leader for this one is uh, Vegeta. So it's the first non-Freezer like Freezer army, like Freezer related leader. Because for set 1 we had Freezer starter deck and then Ginyu and Cooler both related to Freezer in some way. I've got Cooler actually related to him and Ginyu being part of his uh, elite task force. But this time we get Vegeta, so we get some more Saiyan stuff. So yellow being in set one, freezer like freezer focused, or freezer army focused, or freezer clan focused. It's now like we've got the leader being Saiyan, so it's, we expect to see not too much uh, say, like freezer stuff to support it, like more Saiyan stuff to support it as well. So Vegeta does the same thing that most leaders do, which is draw both sides. So when it attacks, draw one, does it on both sides. Same stats as most like the majority of leaders. And has the same awakening as most leaders, being that when you're less or four or less, draw one flip over. But the benefit has is something similar to Freezer, but not quite the same. Because it's similar because it's only in the turn you have to do something. But the ever the part of the effect is switch up to two of your rest mode energy to active mode. So where Freezer normally end the turn you get to untap to any two of your battle cards, Vegeta untaps any two of your rested energy. So you can untap already act like already not tapped energy, but you can untap your uh, rested energy, which is cool. So this was one that could be very, very powerful in future. So like it all depends on what you can do with that uh, that two energy. So we need more battle tricks. We're currently set one. There was there's not too many. You got the freezer. You got the uh, death ball, which is a good, pretty nice battle trick. You also have the Ginyu one, but that's very Ginyu focused, focusing on like depending on how much Ginyu forces. Otherwise, you're just getting a 10k um to extra 10k combo for one energy, which you can get from any battle card. But it gets more and more Ginyu Force as out, but of course Ginyu Force is quite a nice aggressive package you can put in yellow. And then the other one we had that was a battle trick you could use. Well, you got two other ones, one being body change, which doesn't really give you any uh power for the cost of the energy, just untaps like rest something and untap something. So it's a lot of amazing for what Vegeta can do. It could be useful but not amazing for defense. And then the other one is Supernova, which isn't a defensive battle trick, so it doesn't really matter. So currently we've only got two from set one, as we'll have to see whatever kind of benefits you can get from a tapping energy with Vegeta. Also, the art is very nice as well for leaders. The old art, probably like a lot better than the normal art for it. So then we got some cards that kind of do benefit from Vegeta's untapped skill. So for, unfortunately, it's only four new additions from the new set that benefit from it. Not uh, so you had already the two from the set one that kind of benefit from battle tricks, and now you only get four more, so not much to benefit. Unlike the ever cards, ever decks, which like say like the uh, what's it, Red Goku, that gets a huge benefit with loads more cards you can play off it from its effect. Whereas Vegeta gets what four new cards that you can benefit off as a awake side effect, and also um only two from them like really make the first set. So one of those is the battle is the battle card Wii, speed of four cost twenty five k would take a combo pretty decent stats has blockers so you can block and then the benefit of it is epic battle which is uh, once per turn by paying one so. Benefits from the fact that I'm Vegeta on taps and then uh, two energy and allows you to switch this card to active mode so you can block and then activate battle, pay one, block it, and basically restand so you can block again, which is pretty nice. The other one we've got is Tien here, being a free cost 20k, 10k combo, so pretty good stats. And his effect is also once again an activate battle, which is once per turn. Also requires you to pay one energy, but his effect is choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with cost three or less, which is active, but it's a rest mode. So you get like tap down some of your opponent's like kind of lower costing cards, which is. Could be very useful if your opponent doesn't sequence correctly. And then we've got the two extra card battle tricks that you can use to kind of like make use of the energy. So we've got the one cost uh, time rewound, allowing you to like use it. You can use it to your opponent's turn, so it's very good for Vegeta being a defensive one. 
and allows you to give a 20k power boost to one of your battle cards or leaders. So that's pretty good for a battle trick for one. And then choose it to one of your, opponent, to one of your battle cards, which is active mode. So you can kind of use it to get out of a get out of attack, combo out from a swing for one resource, and then well, one energy. Like you get mixed up with Star Wars and uh, Dragon Ball with the energy and resource thing. But then you get to untap one of your battle cards to get out of the harm's way, which is quite nice. Or make use of like is uh, an effect that might tap and stuff like that. Then you got blue power and awakening. So this is what the two cost battle trick extra that all colors seem to be getting. And for its one, it's got two effects. It's got the activate main effect you can use in, in your turn, where you can choose one of your opponent's press with battle cards with a six cost of six or more and KO it. So nice removal for six costs or more. So before yellow, what it could really do was keep like big things at tap down using like, like freeze effects. But now you got a way to remove it straight out, which is quite nice. And you got the battle trick effect, which is good for Vegeta, which is allow you to choose your leader or battle card and give it 25k power for the battle. So give a huge boost, like they all do, will give 25k boost. But um, yeah, the beneficial effect isn't in the, in the uh, battle trick, it's in the fact that it's also removal as well if you need it. So very nice cards for Vegeta. Not too many, but still very nice ones. Some of them are quite nice ones to use in different things as well. Just not much better with the set one stuff. Then you've got some pretty cool but some pretty cool cards. You've got some really nice ones that are actually quite good to have. So you've got Vegeta, uh, Vegeta here, where it's a free cost 20k, so not the best stats, but a 5k combo. But it has an effect where when attacking, if you have a rest mode Goku battle card, you draw a card. So currently, we don't have, didn't have any in set 1, but um, we got what, some in we got one set 2, because we're not going to release a Vegeta and not have Goku go with it to kind of make use of it. So the more we get, the better this card kind of becomes. And you've got Android 18 here being a really nice one where it's a uh, same size as Vegeta, but it's got more common power at 10k. And as effects, we're both on play or when attacking, you can choose one of your opponent's battle cards, which is rest mode. So this is a very, very nice one, just like the one drop uh, freezer from the starter deck, where you can like tap down anything, but this does it on play or when attacking. So you can essentially play it, like rather than have to do like with other things like the two cost freezer, we have to play it out, attack your opponent's leader if you've got nothing in rest mode. So, so you can tap something down and attack into that instead. Essentially giving your opponent a life and helping them awaken. With this, you just come down, tap on your opponent's things, then attacking that, tap inside and kill. So you can then kind of like manage board without needing to worry about attacking your opponent's leader, which can be very handy. And 20k means you can pressure most things, especially, especially awaken leaders, and it's really nice. Good for a rare as well. Then you got Beerus here, being a free cost 20k, has 10k combo. Comes down critical, so more critical pressure you can have in yellow, and also has a permanent where if you have a Whis battle card out, it gains extra 5k power, and you can only play uh, Whis cards the turn after if you play on curve, you play Beerus. It's pretty nice cards, pretty cool ones. Android 18 is pretty nice. Vegeta has a lot of potential in the future with the more Goku cards we get in yellow. And then we've got some combo cards. We've got Gohan and Piccolo being a nice little combo, and then Goten and, Go and, and Trunks being nice little combos you can have. So Gohan uh, and Piccolo go together quite nicely because Gohan is a 2 cost 15k as 10k combo and has an on play where you could use up to one of your Piccolo battle cards, which costs three, which is active mode. So if you play Piccolo out and then swing with it next, well, if you play Piccolo out, and then it size it size the term, so hopefully if you play on curve, you can then swing with it, then play Gohan afterwards, and then uh, run to that Piccolo so you can attack again. And then Piccolo's got a nice little effect where it's a free cost 25k. It's got blocker as well, and it's got a nice effect where when KO'd, you can choose up to one of your opponent's battle card, well, one of your battle cards, which is active mode, so you can then untap something else, like if it's another blocker or something else that you want out the harm's way, you can do that, which is quite nice. So you can always just play Gohan out, I untap Piccolo to so get two swings out of Piccolo and even swinging it with a Gohan or combo off because it's a 10k combo. And then you've got Goten and Trunks being really nice ones. They're both two cost 20k's, both a 5k combo, but have an, both have an on play effect where they kind of untap each other because basically their effects are similar where you choose one of your you choose one of your card that's the other character. So Goten chooses Trunks, Trunks chooses Goten. Um, battle cards with energy cost of two or less, switch to active mode. So you, Goten will untap Trunks, Trunks will untap Goten. So they can play as your other out. And where there's no other goats in there, these are really nice that they just complement each other, so you won't get the effect on the first one. But if the first one survives, you play the other one, you can keep doing that, like swinging, untap, swinging, untap, so that apply a bit more aggro that isn't the Ginyu for stuff. Then if we go in when we eventually go into multicolor leads as well, these would be nice ones to go with like if you go yellow blue, you've got some nice ones in blue for go and trunks as well. Then you got support for set one decks. So you've got support in like King Cole, Ginyu, Cooler, Mecha Cooler for like some of the things. So you've got Never Cooler for that Mecha Freezer. So before having just a skillless and this SR from the Star Deck, you now have this King Cole, which is kind of like a better version of the, well, a better option than the one from the Star Deck. 
because it has exactly the same stats, also has blocker, but is extra effect is when kept, when blocking, once per turn, you can switch to card active mode. I mean, you can get two blocks out of it, where the other one just has a win KO, which pops like four less and rest mode, which is less less useful than probably this, in my opinion. So this is a dual blocker, is really nice, and has the same stats, so it kind of replaces instantly the uh, SR for the star deck. You have Ginyu here, which I'm hyped for, like being more Ginyu support, but the only problem is it's a Ginyu card, so when, with like some of the support, like the search of Ginyu, you can't find it from this. But it does help a little bit out with the struggle of the deck because it's a 2 cost 15k, so not the best stats in being uh, 15k. It'd be nice to be 20, but it might be a bit too strong for 20. But it provides you actually more 10k combos as well, so more combo power. And it's got a really nice activate main where you switch this card to rest mode. That's the cost. And then choose up to 2 of your battle cards with Ginyu Force and the special traits. And give you 5k power for the turn. So it's kind of really nice and it helps out with um, the whole frost situation. Where if you've got opponents, if you've got a uh, born out, your opponent has frost. Then you can you can't really attack with all your stuff, but this way at least you can play this, just rest it, switch, choose two of your ever rest mode um your um well getting you force cards there, then extra five k power so normally up to twenty five k, then you can swing with them, and if you do your leader's effect, then go ahead and pay free discard two to restand all your getting you force. You can then use this effect again to choose two ever ones, and they can uh, like attack through frost frost or even attack in the frost to take it out. So nice little addition. Would be nice to probably like some tech choices, but replace my golders I have. But that's uh, yeah, it's a nice addition, just not amazing. And what I basically can't you kind of want. And then we've got some support for cooler. So you've got a wood drop cooler here, which is a, just a simple five five wood blocker. That's a nice little activate main allow you to play the four drop cooler out quicker because for free energy you can return this card from to its owner's hand, then play up to one cooler with energy cost of four from your hand. So if you pay us up turn one. And this survives until turn three. You can play out cooler a turn early, which is quite nice. It's a nice little benefit of that. And then you got meta cooler being a never option for the meta cooler focus of it, being the same stats as the meta cooler we got before, but with five k less combo. Has blocker and end of your turns, which is kind of active mode, so you can play out free play out a blocker from those uh, meta coolers, which could be handy. And then you can even swing with these and they restand afterwards to block, which is cool. Then we got some more skills cards, so we didn't get too many skills in the set for um yellow, if I remember correctly. So we've now got more in the starter deck, or somewhere we didn't get many skillless for yellow, so yellow's getting those skillless that was missing. So we got full four skillless cards in yellow for the set, being Roshi, Goku, Vegeta, and Gotenks, all going for one, two, three, four. So no additions, and then yes, there's where your Goku is. It's one well, of your Goku cards for that Vegeta is a skillless, and the other one we know is the SR. Then you got some every other yellow cards. These are quite nice ones. You got Bulb and be a little Citra for weeks. So was that? I think this is quite similar art, or almost similar art to the one in Masters, the blue one that searches. While the blue one in Masters just straight up searches for a weeks for your deck for less than your hand. This one's of course got to be a searcher. Where on play, look at the top five cards of your deck. Real weeks, add it to your hand, place the rest of the bottom of your deck in random order. So you got some search for weeks, but then there's only two weeks cards in the in the game so far for yellow, and well, but if it goes in white color, it could be a little bit better if we get more waste cards. But the other waste you got as a target for this, currently just in yellow, is this 5 drop waste being a 35k. So, same power as some 5 cost, 5k combo. And then your turn, you choose one of your rest mode cards, which is the active mode. And it's just rest mode cards. This was really nice because it's just any rest mode cards. It could be your energy, it could be your battle card, it could be your leader. But then, leader's not really relevant too much. Um, because there's none with blocker or anything like that. But if we do get one with blocker, that could be very handy. But this this allows you to just restand any one of your battle, any one of your cards, your battle cards, or like even, yeah, your energy is really really nice. So that's really nice. Uh, really, really cool. We so it adds on extra with the uh, freeze as well, because freeze untaps two battle cards and this can untap any card. Then you got super combo being Jacko. Not much in terms of like synergy. Like we know them. Red has synergy with its super combos due to its traits. Green has it due to its traits as well. And yellow kind of has some with its traits where we've got well, a piccolo one that hopefully signals some mech in support in yellow in the future. And then we've got the um, uh, G line, which adds more synergy with Freeze Army trait. Whereas Jacko is just an alien, doesn't synergize much well. Uh, well, so most people are just going to go with the ever super combos that synergize a bit better, like mainly G line. Because you can get more shiny chill lines, and then you've got uh, energy blast volley being a nice little extra. One of those extra can tap down all your opponent's battle cards, switch in rest mode. So, 
no longer do you have to do one of things, you can just energy volley the last for one. Is dead and hangs is not very great defensively. Be able to take down all your opponent's cards like they're out of the way and not be able to block or so you can tack into them. Could be very handy for this as well. And then you got some other you got some more other yellow cards. So we got Videl is just a one cost blocker. Nothing more to say about that, just one cost blocker not great. You got Krillin here being the two cost fifteen K, just one attacking, you choose two of your opponent's power cards with energy cost of one less, which in the rest mode. Not great currently, and they should be against blue and they play a load of um PLFs and stuff. Not great there. You got Roshi here being a pretty nice uh free K attack uh well, free cost attacker. It's only five K with Tinker combo, but um, but has blocker, and then it's got a nice little permanent where if it's in rest mode, it gains 2k power for the turn. So what's 5k normally? As soon as it attacks or blocks, it gains that 20k power, making it a 25k, which is pretty nice. Then you got another go hot here. This one's on play. Choose one of your opponent's rest mode battle cards, and it can't attack. Uh, switch to active mode to your opponent's next turn. So you got a nice little on play kind of thing. So like another one of those uh freeze cards, which. You don't really want to just keep freezing something down, like, cool, it's nice. But this is a one time use on play, just because free, decent stats for its card. But then it's just always doing is holding off the inevitable by just locking things down. So, you sure you can drop this, and next turn, if you've got enough to play freezer to keep locking it down, it's pretty nice while establishing board. But you kind of want a removal rather than just keeping stuff like that. But I get it's yellow, and it's kind of like its identity is like resting and freezing things. We've got some more yellow, uh, yellow cards. We've got even more now. We've got Never Goku. So there is yeah, quite a fair few Gokus to go down Vegeta, which is quite nice. And this one's got almost skillless level stats. Just lacks some of the combo power because it's got an effect. So it's only 5 key combo rather than 10. But it's got permanent wear during your turn. If your opponent has three or more rest of the battle cards, this card gets 5 key power. So it means the more permanent cards your opponent has on your board in the battle area, the more battle cards they have in rest mode, the stronger this card gets during your turn. Quite nice, but you don't want too many cards to be on your board, but you'll use this you can use this as a way to kind of take like manage your board while well, while you've got a fair few, it's stronger, which could be cool. You've got two new freezers as well, you've got a normal free cost freezer and a mecha freezer before. So the normal freezer is a free cost uh free cost well yeah free cost 20k to get combo is like a kind of theme we're seeing from most cards in yellow with like a lot of free costs. And uh its effect is also your turn once per turn when his card is switched to it by a skill, so currently he's only by like uh, Whis, Banana, and Freezer. Then you get to choose its one of your opponent's rest of the battle cards, but it costs four or less, and freeze it for the turn, basically make it so it can switch to active mode your opponent's next turn. So more kind of freezing, but this one is like very reliant on three kind of cards, one being a leader to kind of have a trigger, which is amazing. Then you got Mecha Freezer being a 4 plus 25k with Blocker, and once again, another card with win KO'd, where it doesn't really have a way to... Well, it does have a way to KO itself a blocker. But then, when KO'd is not as great as... Because uh, there's ever ways to remove it or keep it locked down and stuff that every color have access to, apart from green, really. So it's... When KO'd is look at three cards from the top of your deck. Revolt to one card with Freezer Clan and special traits at the end. And then place the rest of the bottom of your deck in any order. So you can kind of get more focus in a, free, a um, corner deck. Where if you've got a lot of Freezer Clan cards or a fair few Freezer Clan cards to benefit off the leader. You can kind of have this way to search, and it's a nice little block as well to defend your leader if needed. And also, another card that's Freezer Clan for Freezer, the cooler just resign and keep attacking, which is quite cool. And if your opponent does get rid of it, it kind of tries to replace itself, which is cool. Then you want the brand new super, brand new powerful super rares. So, for yellow, the super rares are Goku, Bulma, and Vegeta, and they're all really nice as well. Really nice ones. Um, don't offer too much, but they offer some nice things. Like Goku was a really good one. He offers some more um, freezing as well, and while I said that isn't the greatest thing to do, it at least offers a lot more freezing than just one card, and it's not just a one-time use, it's multiple uses, because it's a 4 cost 25k, so it's pretty solid stats, and a tanky combo on a suit SR is pretty nice, and its effect is on player when attacking, so you can lock on two things the same turn you play it, and attack with it, because you get to choose up to one of your opponent's battle card, rest of the battle cards, and it can switch to active mode in your opponent's next turn. So you can bring it down, lock something down, swing, lock something down, and then the longer it survives, every turn you can every turn you can basically keep doing that, locking things down. Really nice card. Especially when you can retap it with Freezer, or resign it with Freezer as well. It's pretty cool. Then you've got Bulma being a one cost SR, so green uh, yellow gets a one cost SR. And I never uh another way to kind of awaken that's a bit cheaper. So we haven't seen much of that in this uh, in set two for self awakening, like not much uh, comes down to self awakening for this. But this is an epic battle where you switch this card to rest mode, 
and up to one card from your life to your hand and choose one of two effects. You can either choose it to one of your opponent's battle cards when it costs a four less, switch to rest mode, or if you have a rest mode battle card when it costs a three or more, draw one card. So you can either get a bit more draw off this, which is quite nice, or you can rest something down. So it's a really nice addition to Freezer. Like a cheaper self awakening will also get the benefit of being a restand this because it's got rest itself and gets pretty nice uh, benefits because you, you can add up to one card from your hand. It's not half to add a card from your hand, so that's quite a nice benefit to that. And you can even use it defensively as well if you untap it because it's actually battle, which is cool. So then we've got Vegeta. So Vegeta is a free cost 20k, fucky combo. As a permanent word during your opponent's turn, all of your rest mode battle cards can't be KO'd by your opponent's skills, giving yellow now a way to kind of like not what like have less uh, fear of that seven drop Gohan coming down or the five drop Beerus coming down and working your board, which is cool. Nice benefits there. And it's got an on play where add up to one card from your left hand, so more self awakening, and then you can play one battle card where it costs one or less from your hand. And there's a fair few good one drops in um, yellow. So that's a nice little benefit. So. Very nice SR, so very good ones, and all nice little benefits, like even more benefits for freezer stuff to make it even stronger, but like less freezer army requirements, which is cool. And of course, they all get like nice old arts, and Goku actually gets a really nice one, like quite, like quite cool, being like very blue, like kind of all around him looks like a very nice old art. Bulma kind of does the same a bit, but then the background just doesn't look as great. Looks pretty mediocre, and then Vegeta, of course, he's got another character on there ruining it, doing the same as what Bojack did to him Masters, jumping on the make so like, is it actually a Vegeta card? Like, kind of confusing what, what kind of card it is. Like, instead of ruining someone else's card, now he's getting ruined by Freezer, but he's quieting him off. But, uh, yeah, never quite nice looking at art, art because he's got another character there, like, actually doing something, but not as great as what, like, like SRs aren't, the old art side was great as well set one had, so it's kind of like a little bit dis disappointing in the art wise, especially when you consider that Bandai, the art, old arts they do for One Piece and the SPRs they do for Masters are amazing, but then they do give us this fusion more because it's like even more of a slap in the face to what was already been given for um this game so far. And then of course we get a secret rare, so we finally get a secret rare for yellow, so every color now has a secret rare which is quite nice. We'll probably get one for black in the next set, plus another color getting another secret rare. But yeah, they finally get a secret rare, it's Golden Freezer. So it's a pretty hefty one, it's six costs, so one of the more uh, expensive cards in the game, but is out the way of being taken down by well only card ready in yellow now it can't be taken out if you don't have freeze if you don't have Vegeta down to protect them from uh go home, which is cool. But the six costs forty K, no combo power, so it's only blue and it gets a secret rare with combo power, which is nice for them. But this one comes down with a nice little permanent where your, opponent, your opponent's battle cards with a cost of 5 or more are played in rest mode. So it's like a nice little tax on your opponent's cards. So if they want to play some big cards later in the game, they can not attack with them straight away to come rested. And it's got a nice little on play where you choose a 20 opponent's rest mode battle card to kill it. So finally some removal, straight up removal in it, but it comes on a secret rare. But still it's a very nice card, bring out a 40k, they can attack the same turn. Puts a tax on your opponent making this so their cards have to be... Uh, in rest mode to attack, and also you've got the Vegeta out, it kind of makes it so you can't really KO this while it's in rest mode. And then you've got the on player of being a pop sneak in rest mode when it comes down, so you drop a second one to turn after if they play the big thing. You pop that as well and, hit, and then keep the attacks going. So, really nice, really happy. I'm look, really happy with this secret rare, and it gets some nice uh, looks as well. Like the normal one looks pretty cool, and then the alt art looks really nice as well. So after th that is it for the video today. So yellow doesn't get too much, doesn't get as big a benefit as the other colors do, but it still gets some really nice cool tools. Just they don't get much benefit. Like Ginyu doesn't gain anything. Corner kind of gains a little bit. Freeze it always gains a lot, and Vegeta doesn't have too much to kind of benefit from its effect. So it's but it's one of those ones where the more set of cards we get, the more options that could be very very strong for it. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next one. Bye for now.